Hey, it's Phoebe with Matt Behind the Camera and today we are spending one perfect day in Sydney. Rather than trying to see and do everything or pack a whole bunch of new stuff into it, we haven't been to Sydney in so long. I just want to spend the day doing everything I love. And that's what we're doing, starting right here at Bondi Beach. My plan for today was to choose all the food spots but not tell Matt what they are. Um, I thought it might be a little exciting for him and that's a good way to travel, I don't know. Everyone gets surprises then. So I thought we should come to Bill's. Um, if you know Sydney then you know Bill's. It's very popular, it's very well known, it's iconic. And I had to get the ricotta hotcakes. There's cheese in it and I don't care I'm eating it. Oh, I dreamed about this moment. Those are so light and fluffy. The banana is amazing. The syrup is amazing, and they have really good coffee too. Surprise number one done. delicious breakfast if you're in Bondi I recommend coming here to icebergs it's very popular from a tourist sense there's a good chance you might have seen it but I don't care you should still come here I imagine that if you had never been to Australia and you've never been to Sydney or seen something like this it would blow you away and for good reason it is so beautiful and there is a cafe open downstairs so you might like to get a nice refreshing cool juice or maybe a second coffee something like that and just enjoy how beautiful these views are. You can, of course, pay to get into the water and have a little bit of a swim. So you might like to bring your swimmers or your togs with you so you can get in for a dip. But honestly, I can't think of anything more iconic to do in Sydney. It's so beautiful here. It's so beautiful. I forgot how beautiful Sydney is. And there's been such a rainy summer in Brisbane and I'm just kind of realizing that Sydney has had summer. And I'm jealous, Sydney, you've been keeping it from us. Obviously we don't have a car down here in Sydney, so to get around, we are catching ride shares. So we've been using Uber and Didi, and that's because bouncing between the two of them, sometimes the fares are cheaper on a different one. So when we arrived, we called Didi from the airport to the hotel, and that was the cheapest option. It was even cheaper than if we'd gone with public transport because there's two of us. But today we've been using Uber because it has been cheaper. And if you do jump onto the Uber or Didi apps, and the rate's a little high, wait a couple of minutes, refresh, come back, and we've tend to found that, tend to find, tend to found, that the price has gone down a little bit. So, good way to save money and get around easily. I was a little unsure how I would sort out tickets. I thought maybe we'd need an Opal card, which is their rechargeable travel card. I'm sure if you had one, maybe the fares are a little bit cheaper, but because we're only taking one trip today, I just got single trip tickets from the machine up there. Didn't need to have cash. I could tap my card and it's $7.60 per adult one way from here to Circular Quay. So from Rose Bay Wharf to Circular Quay. Now it's only gonna be a short trip on the ferry, maybe about 15 minutes at the most, but I really just wanted to get out in the sunshine and get on the water for a little bit and kind of see Sydney from that beautiful water angle. It really is such a pretty city and the water looks stunning today with all the sunshine. I mean, everybody walks around the harbour, right? And everybody gets to see the Opera House and the bridge from those same angles. We're doing it on the water like this. We have this whole deck to ourselves. It is such a beautiful and unique way to see everything. And I just feel so happy seeing it from this angle. We've got some beautiful photos and it's such an iconic and special Sydney experience. Well worth the $7 to get on here and do that quick trip. But deep down you know what I know. But you didn't find, you didn't find.
We are having lunch at one of our favorite restaurants in the entire world, Din Tai Fung. Now there is no Din Tai Fung in Queensland that I'm aware of. Oh my gosh, if you know what one, tell me. But they do have it down here in Sydney and it's something we always eat whenever we can, especially if we're somewhere in Asia like Hong Kong or even Singapore. Now we were going to go to the one at Circular Quay and they do have different spots around the place. But the one at Circular Quay closes at two and we were gonna get there around one and I don't wanna be rushed when it comes to eating my food. So we came to this one. It's located in the food court up the top of the Westfield underneath the Sydney Eye. It's terrible plating, but I don't care how it looks. I care how it tastes. So we have got their fried rice, we've got dumplings, and Matt has got also a bao bun. Um, that's new for them. They didn't used to do bao buns, but I'm really excited for the dumplings. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are the best dumplings. Plating, absolutely terrible. <laughs> Taste, 10 out of 10. Now I would recommend if you are gonna go to Din Tai Fung when you come, go to one of the proper restaurants <laughs> and time your run so you can sit there for a good hour or two. Take your time, order a little bit and just keep ordering more until you're full. But if you are in a rush, you could come here and get this stuff, eat it in or even take it somewhere and have a lovely picnic lunch out. For accommodation here in Sydney, we are staying at the Meriton Suites Sussex Street in one of their one bedroom luxury suites. And this place is awesome. I love how spacious it is, all the different seating areas, the great views, and it is located really centrally. If you're looking for a great recommendation, this is it. And I'm really excited to see our friends. We haven't seen them, well, we haven't seen Tori in Years. years and years. James even longer yeah. and we met them through work and we just went on these work trips with them if you saw our Hokkaido video we went to Hokkaido with James you would have seen him in our videos and if you saw our South USA videos you would have seen Tori and we are lucky enough to be able to travel with them and oh my god it's Tori can I just come in I think so <laughs> I'm so happy to see Clothes in free mo, just primo. She beats her OGs with sequels. Lethal her look, but she's sweet though. She sings so shots like their free throws. Whoa. For dinner, um, Tori has brought us to Spice Alley and Chibonet. Is that right? Very good. This is a very yes. local spot. Yeah, it's pretty local, and um, you know, some people say it's a bit hidden, but actually, well, it is a bit hidden. Um, but it's also a, a great one to take visitors yeah. to. Yeah, absolutely. Because when you kind of come onto the street, it's just like all this life, but if you were a couple of streets back, you wouldn't have even seen it. And then they have all these beautiful kind of lanterns and all different food stalls. If you've ever been to Singapore, you've been to the Hawker Centers, it's like that. It's like all these different shop fronts set up and they have every kind of Asian cuisine you can dream of. And you know I'm obsessed with Singaporean food. I love it. And they have Rudy. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Um, and good serving sizes as well, I think. Good portion. Do you see the chip in there? I'm loving it. I've already tucked in, actually. What did you get? Um, I got the Nazi Goreng, which is a firm favourite of mine, but I also do love the dumplings um, up there as well. There's just so many choices. Um, it's a bit overwhelming, actually. It's a bit overwhelming, and it's, it's also strange. really affordable. And we started with drinks at Cartel as well, which was fantastic. They're the best margaritas. And this is BYO as well, so you actually bring your own drinks in. Yeah. Oh, I love that. All right, I'm going to try the roti because I'm, you know I'm picky when it comes to roti, so I hope it's good. <laughs> if it's not, I'm going to throw a fit. <laughs> No, that's really good. <laughs> that was an awesome night and such a great way to end my perfect day in Sydney. Um, I've just had the best day. It's been energizing. Traveling again in general is energizing and coming back to Sydney after all these years, I mean, I genuinely can't remember what year we last came here, but it's been a long time. All right, you guys. And with that, that brings our Sydney episode to a close. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you have plenty of inspiration for your next trip to Sydney. When I shared on Instagram stories that we were down here so many of you DM'd me and were like, I'm going to Sydney or I'm planning a trip and I would really love the tips. So I hope all the tips were helpful for you. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you with a brand new episode next week. Love ya.